Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, folks, we've got a report very concerning. Uh, NASA has just announced that 4 billion people, that's right, 4 billion people are at risk as the water table is dropping all over the world. According to reports, a new analysis reveals that the global water scarcity is far greater problem than previously thought. It's affecting 4 billion people. Two-thirds of the world's population will be one of the most difficult and important challenges of this century, according to NASA. Previous analysis looked at water scarcity at an annual scale and had found that the water scarcity affected between 1.7 and 3.1 billion people. Now, Mike from around the world actually was on our show about a year ago. It might have been a little bit more than a year ago. He's talking about, of course, the five waves of energy. We were talking about the uptick. He, as he's told us, you're going to see an uptick, of course, in uh, earthquakes over 6.0 and over volcanic eruptions. We both we broke both records last year of both those categories. And right now there's more active volcanoes in the process of spewing lava or shooting up rock or smoke right now, simultaneously, more now than ever in history. But he also said, besides extreme weather conditions and things we'll see because of a atmospheric compression upon the earth, lowering the jet stream and causing more extreme straight line winds. He said, there's also the water table is falling and you will see that the water table will fall dramatically. He said that a little over a year ago. So here we are today with a a report just now breaking and NASA saying that the analysis of the water table is even a lot lower than was originally anticipated. The water scarcity has become a global problem affecting all of us. Uh, And so, folks, water is going to become scarce. At some point, it's going to become a dangerous levels. Now, besides the water level falling, we have pollution of water. We have radiation, the entire Pacific Ocean uh, with higher levels. We We have what just happened now in Flint, Michigan with the lead corroding and you can know this, there's more cities that there is high lead levels than just Flint, Michigan. You can know this. You're not getting told this, but you can know this. And also, look what just happened now in Indian Point, New York, as there's high radioactive levels of uh, radiation in the water. Three different wells, 65,000 times higher than would be normal and acceptable. Uh, the concerns for the water tables there's just there's concerns around the globe um and this study is found that now about half of the four billion people affected by severe water scarcity for a month or more are in these countries india and china all right now millions of others have been affected in bangladesh nigeria and pakistan and mexico the u.s is far from immune to this problem with 130 million people affected by water scarcity for at least one month a year. I mean, we got parts of Texas, California, even Florida, among the rivers that study show that they are fully or nearly depleted uh, before reaching their end uh, in the Colorado River in the West as well. So there's a lot going on as far as water table dropping. These are all part of the very things that Christ told us would come to pass in the last days. And this is why there will be famines and there will be pestilences or plagues or diseases. And there will be earthquakes in diverse places. There will be wars and rumors of wars. And nations will rise against nations and kingdoms will come against kingdoms. And false Christ and false prophets will certainly appear on the scene. But these are the beginning of sorrows. Because then the great persecution of Christianity and Jews will hit an all-time high. It hasn't yet, but it's on its way. Christians are being hunted down and murdered all over the Middle East right now. And Jews are feeling themselves surrounded in Israel by many, many different armies. Exactly like Christ said it would. Zechariah even said that Jerusalem will become a cup of trembling and a burdensome stone to all people. Meanwhile, the water levels will continue to fall. The sun will get hotter and the world will get closer 
to the coming of Jesus Christ. Now, the good news is this. If you're saved, you're in the kingdom blessing. This is very important to understand. You say, but Paul, how in the world can you be in a kingdom blessing if the whole world's falling apart? Because in the world you'll have trouble, Jesus said, but in me you'll have peace. All right? So it's time to have no more fear and put on the faith in God. For perfect love casts out fear. You have to believe who is your, you have to know who is your provider. That Jehovah Jireh is your provider. You have to walk in the kingdom blessing. And even though Wall Street could be toppling and the, and the world currencies can be wobbling, you need to be in the kingdom currency. And that is your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, Paul said, but in the power of God. Your, he is your sustainer. Forget global sustainability by the United Nations. I'm going to remain in the sustainability and the, it's beyond su sustaining. I'm talking the blessing of God's love and mercy and protection upon you and your family. If you don't have Christ as your Savior, it's time to come to Him and be saved. We're running out of time, okay? Jesus is coming. We don't know the day nor the hour, but certainly He shall appear. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon.